We have as a subject repairs. Odd subject, but fun. Because here we have only vases, and I would like you to explain, as over a period of 250 years, they always applied roughly the same technique as they didn't have araldite and cementite glue. Right. Well, this I'll start with this one, which is the oldest of our little selection here. Um, it's a lakathos, as you can see, a big one, a black figure, and the scene is great too, and, and not to belabor it, but it is Dionysus sitting here in a symposium with Ariadne before him, a flute player behind, and of course his omnipresent satyr here, and even a female panther. Uh, what we're going to focus on today, and just point out to you, is this extremely rare example of a neck actually being reattached to the body. Um, so in previous videos, we've described this very special spout and neck of Alekathos. Here, you can see that um, it was actually broken off at one point in antiquity, and the method for uh, restoring this type of break, a clean break, um, would be to make drill holes on either side of the break, and then make metal clamps, lead or bronze, and insert them here to really bind them together mechanically. The point is that this type of repair has survived in Europe until about a hundred years ago. You find this same type of repair in rural pottery, even in Switzerland, and where it has survived with metal. Um, they didn't have the glue we use today. They did have glue, the ancients, for sculptures, but not for ceramics which would hold up. And so the holes were of course filled up with lead, otherwise you create a shower. Right, a shower head it didn't become a sieve. But... No, it was not a sieve, but it's very rare to see it on a Lekitos. Uh, I've never seen it before. Uh, neither me. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was great fun. And we have nearly from the same period this one, where would you believe it, the repair has survived and is still holding it together. Can you show it, Lily? Sure. So here you can see the, the, the nail, this big, or we call it a nail, but it's really just a cylinder of bronze. It's a cylinder of bronze. It's fitting right in the center here. And then you can see on the reverse, the other side here. Yeah. So it's, it's really watertight and it's using this, this tube of the foot. Um, to yeah. make this junction. So obviously the foot broke off and they felt it necessary to repair it because this pottery was not throwaway pottery. It was considered expensive pottery and as we know it was even exported. You find such pottery has been found in Zurich in a Celtic, uh, in Celtic strata, meaning this pottery is not exclusively found in Italy and in Greece, yeah. but south of France, Switzerland, it's rare, very rare, but it does exist even in the Heuneburg in Germany. And so this one's charming too, because it's a little master cup, and so you see these men, draped men, with these big swans on one side, and then here on the other. And then we have this um, big attic red figure cup, which is very interesting, because here they took a new, and that piece was smashed, uh, was properly smashed, in many fragments already um, in the 5th century when it was made and used it's by the Sabourov painter um, and you see how many holes <laughs> it's, really it's crazy. covered with holes so and you can see here <laughs> the interesting thing about this cup is its ownership um, this cup comes from a first half of the 19th century collection it belonged to the very famous a photographer, inventor actually, of the negative print of uh, Henry Talbot Fox. He was a Scottish uh, pioneer of photography and he had a huge collection, comes directly from the family, from his descendants. And obviously here he was fascinated by the repairs. Unfortunately, there are no photographs of the 19th century, early 19th century, of this cup would be of course worth mm -hmm. much more than the cup itself but it's an interesting document and then we come so should we take the opportunity to say this cup will be featured in an upcoming auction? oh yes i forgot sorry yeah. it's we are having an internet uh, sale where this piece will be featured among about 70 pieces which you can then 
acquire over life auctions and others. So we're going contemporary and you can buy in a silent auction. Uh, it will be uh, at the beginning of July, you, you will be informed, but this will feature there. Then we have here, that's fun. I mean, look at this. What is it? I mean, it's, I mean, we were debating it. So it's a Lucanian crater, so from, from the southern Italy and 4th century, and it's got this comic scene, so maybe even uh, taken out of a scene of old comedy. So you have this man here, he's naked, he's pot-bellied, probably a servant or something, being followed by this really vicious donkey. I don't know if you can see Look the how expression. Angry he is, and he's, he's erect, and he's following him. Right, and um, I've been on the wrong side of an angry donkey. And uh, it's very funny scene. because it's a sort of perverted scene of the donkey showing some desire for this poor servant running away. Oh, it's I like, a, think of it like the, that. I thought the world side up, you know, and the the vase obviously broke and quite heavily, as you can see, you have all these holes, and it's a big vessel. And the walls are thick. Yeah, these are walls of nearly eight millimeters, and obviously it was tight, you could use it, uh, and so these repairs are really to be used. So these are typical repairs you find on pottery over a period, I would say, of three, four hundred years, uh, because it continues also into Roman period, Though it is interesting, I do not know of Sigillatas repaired like that. I do not remember, but I could mm. be wrong, that Sigillata, which is much more common, it's mm -hmm. really industrial manufacturing, mass product, shows these repairs. Whereas Attic Black Figure, Red Figure, Campanian, Lucanian, you do find it, though it's getting less and less common. Well, that was for pottery. <laughs> we will continue with sculpture.